All right, so one of the things that um, I've wanted to do since I've got this new camera is break out the prototypes again. It's been a while since I've done a video uh, with the prototypes, and it's kind of my claim to fame, I guess. Um, I got lucky back in the day on eBay when these uh, Toy Sight Toy Fair 2000 plushes were, or not plushes, figures, figures and plushes were being sold on eBay. Um, and it's unfortunate not all of them were were sold. I came in, I suspect that maybe the previous week that more of them were out there. Like the Mario and Luigi with the plungers and the um, some of the other bigger figures that they had there, like the Zelda stuff. Um, of course, we know that um, Young Zelda, the carded one that, was, that appeared there, ended up at a, a flea market or a Goodwill or something like that um that was just sold there for like seven bucks or something and ended up in a kid's hands and played with which that's rough but that's the nature i guess of, of the toys life anyone seen toy story <laughs> uh but here let's just dive right in here so this is the mario and it's always been hard to film him because he's so mirrored um, definitely a chrome paint that they're using here. Um, but this one was meant to, you can see the little water pump here, to pump air into them. And I'm not sure where exactly you're supposed to plug it in. Oh, it's, it's right, <laughs> right between the legs. That's perfect. Wonder why this never went to market. Um, so this was supposed to like have them sink. Like in the game when he's in under underwater and he has the metal Mario, then he sinks. And he's able to walk on the on the ground and underwater. So this air pump made him come back up and everything. Uh, this weird block you see that looks like a Mario Party block. Um, that is a placeholder, I was told, by the person who sold me the the figure. Um, they did not have another accessory planned yet for the figure when they showed it off showed the line off at the toy fair so they um they just had this placeholder um so this was the the rarest probably the rarest piece in my collection is the metal mario figure um i think i only have like a couple of other metal mario like that are specifically metal mario um like that little stand over there little figure model kit thing and there's a couple other pieces of specifically metal Mario, but it's not like I'm a only a fan of like specifically metal Mario. Like metal Mario isn't like the best Mario, <laughs> but I do have this prototype. Um, I think the one that I wanted the most out of the Mario line was actually the Wario figure with the dragon hat from Wario Land. That was sweet. But yeah, I did not have that. Um, there's been various metal Marios over the course of Mario Kart 2. There's been some Mario Kart stuff. But yeah, there is the Metal Mario. Obviously an easy figure to make because you don't have to paint it. But with one color. Uh, you can lack detail and all kinds of things. So it's kind of an easy one. But definitely the um, biggest name figure in the, in the set. Mario is definitely the one that everyone wants to see. Bummer I couldn't get Luigi or, or Mario or any of that kind of stuff. But yeah, the, the plunger guns were weird. They didn't really have a basis in any of the games or anything, but it's just accessories for action figures. Like you don't read a whole lot into those. Um, but we like accurate ones. It would have been fantastic to get a hold of some of those Zelda ones because those Zelda ones are so gorgeous. They were painted um, and what have you, like the the Link and the, the Skulltula was there. I would have loved to have that Stalfos. Um, gosh, that whole line. Oh, why didn't it come out? <laughs> they also were the first to market, or would have been, with the Star Fox. Fox and the Cloud figure. So, this figure is so awesome. Uh, I, I think I like this more than the Metal Mario, even though I know the Metal Mario is more rare and more coveted because of the name. But this one, because of the polygonal look of Fox and the fact that Star Fox 64... Uh, was the first game to actually have Fox appear 
in the game as a playable character. So in the multiplayer, you could pick if you like, if you did a bunch of work in the game, um, you could unlock the anthropomorphic characters in the in the multiplayer to run around with bazookas and shoot each other with, which was really fun back then. Um, because at first it was just dog fights with the R wings, and then you could add the landmaster. And the last thing, if you got everything, was the was the characters. And being able to shoot down an R wing <laughs> with a bazooka was was a really hard. Because if the R wing had a bomb, you'd die. But uh, B was it was a accomplishment. Like you'd you know it was it was a big deal. It was also like along the same lines of the Golden Eye, where you're fighting your friends. Um, and so like sleepover parties and stuff would have Star Fox 64 multiplayer. And, and I, I'd always be the one with the cart that had everything unlike unlocked. And then I had everything unlocked on the golden eye too. And that was no easy task. But, uh, again, this one has the placeholder. It's not a Mario party die, but it's just a random question mark lock. And it's not even like a Mario one. It's just a random one. And, you know, Star Fox has those little, um, shootable blocks where this stuff comes out like the um photon torpedoes or whatever they call them hyper beam something um so they had planned another accessory but i'm not sure what that even would have been other aside from like the rings or something that you find in the game to replenish your health or armor um but yeah you can see that uh maybe better here that fox also has a gun in his hand permanently i do not think you can remove that gun and of course i will not try so it is weird that um he has a gun and also has a bazooka because the or you know whatever this is it could be an rpg or whatever but the uh the idea like he never had a gun in the game uh i guess he had he was seen in art having a gun i guess and he has like the blaster and smash brothers and whatnot so he has that but he never used it, I don't think, in the game in Star Fox 64, and this is what it's modeled after. The red eyes are kind of creepy, though, right? <laughs> and the tail, it's such a weird uh, mix of both realism and polygonism. Is that a word? Because uh, his facial features are obviously modeled after the polygons, but then you have, like, the classic fox tail. I just love this figure. Okay, so the other, all the other prototypes I really have that are just in the Mario universe and especially from the toy site, Toy Fair, are the, um, what would have been set two of the Donkey Kong hard plastic head plushes. So, and these, oh, these would have been sweet to come out because everyone's favorite was Lanky which we'll see in a minute. But they also had K. Rule and a Kremlin, which they they never released a Kremlin for anything except for the show in Japan. Um, and I always wanted that. I mean, that's your that's your big bat, right, in the game. That's your that's the character you see the most often. So, like, the Goomba and the Koopa Troopa are so iconic to Mario. Well, it's the Kremlin for Donkey Kong. Anyway, let's start with Tiny. And these are in bag, sealed, So I can't really show you like a lot of detail without, you know, I want to keep it in the bag, obviously. Um, so there's Tiny with her cap and everything. And her her hair is just stuck in. And I, I know that if I pulled this out, it would just come out. And I'm not sure what's holding it in there or what is going on there. But it just kind of sets there. So that's like kind of a point of failure whether they wanted that or not they probably would have reinforced it with something so you could spin or whatever um but there's tiny and you have her overalls and just a really good detail on this it's a real bummer that these didn't come out i'm sure chunky would have been in like set three but since set two never came out let's do the kremlin next i love the detail on his head hopefully that's coming through on the video there and he's got great armor and he's just a classic kremlin now this is critter kremlin 
9132-A. And that totally lends th authenticity to it. Um, but, you know, seeing the pics, I didn't get any authentication from the seller, but these are obviously the ones. Like, these are the ones you saw at the Toy Fair of pictures of old. So, I don't know if I need more authentication than that. But, this one's sealed too. It would have been nice to have, and I probably should have... It was really early in my collecting career when I got these. I probably should have asked for more authentication materials, but uh, I think the seller was pretty anxious to get rid of them and worried that there was going to be um, some fallout, maybe, for him or her who sold it. So um, I'm not really sure the story there, but he put a bunch of them on eBay. I'm... I don't know when I when I bought these Wario was there and I was really going hard for Wario but it went higher than I was willing to go which is a bummer because now I would have thrown like everything at it but um all of them went up at the same time and I got the banjo there was a chunky figure uh, I missed that too I don't think there was a lanky figure up at auction but it made me wonder, because I watched that seller for a long time after that to see if there was anything, and there was nothing after those auctions, man. There was... I just got lucky. Anyway, uh, let's go... Who's the better, Who's the more exciting one? <laughs> K. Rule. Uh, this is probably the best figure that I have of him. It's probably the best one that's ever been made. It's such a shame that he's the only one available in the world. Probably. There is some speculation that there were multiples, which is not unheard of. Like, these may not be one of one, um, but certainly they're the only ones that I've ever seen in the 20 plus years of collecting to come in front of a camera. I haven't ever seen them in another collection or anything like that. Um, so they may have had other samples. Maybe they got destroyed. Maybe they got thrifted. <laughs> I have no idea. But there's K. Rule and his crown. And I almost would have liked to have the, the gold on the belly, too, but to have this is, is amazing. This one is sealed as well. And I don't see any, like, I can't really move the cape to see if there's another tag or anything on it, but um, excellent detail. The head sculpt is brilliant. It's spot on. Even the painting on the eyeball with the bloodshot eye. Just fantastic. Like nothing, nothing that's actually available compares to this. Such a shame. Okay, and the one that's slightly opened, and that was definitely before me, because I don't I don't open things like this, uh, is the lanky. So he's a little bit opened. But his uh, popularity, for whatever reason, is definitely the highest among the Kongs in the Donkey Kong 64 game. I think it was because he's such a weird character, right? He's the orangutan. He's kind of the odd odd guy out. Uh, he has hilarious moves. He's kind of a clown. Um, I love the patch on his butt. So great. But there is Lanky, and that's the one I get asked about the most, is Lanky. Um, so, yeah, he's probably... When we're talking worth of these... Um, I mean, I've had, there was a period in time where I was um, attempting with the Mallow plush to see what these would garner, and I figured it was a good time to figure it out. I didn't think that I'd ever buy the Mallow at this high a price, but I wanted to find out what I could pull off, um, like, quickly. I was offered about 12k each for these, 12,000 for each of them. Um, which is, it's a lot. I mean, I didn't buy, I didn't buy them at near that, but obviously they've appreciated because of videos like these and people asking me over the years and the, the, um, just the, the need to know what happened with Toy Site because it was such a great line. It was going to be such a great line. And even the products they had come out with were fantastic. Um, I mean, it could have been really big, but for whatever reason they pulled out. Um, maybe the, the stuff they were selling wasn't selling that great because the problem with that is they were just coming into their own 
and they had rebranded a lot of the things that had been selling for years under toy site so like the bdna plushes there were iterations new iterations every couple of years as they as they sold these from like 96 to well i've been like 97 98 to like 2000 um so every year or so they were re-releasing these re-releasing the same plushes that's why you see so many variants of like luigi or so many variants in the bdna line and there's toy site characters, there's bendable characters, there's all kinds of stuff. And I'd like to do like a BDNA uh, big big video, but I don't have a lot of the ones that, uh, like all the variants and stuff. So I'd have to post pictures and stuff, which is, I guess, possible, but it takes a lot of time. Because um, someone's got to do it. There's so many, <laughs> there's so many variants in the BDNA line. But anyway, it kind of felt like they were selling the same thing over and over again after some time. So when these finally arrived in 2000 there wasn't enough uh interest i guess maybe for them to to go through with the line which is sad because like i'm pretty sure the joyride uh legend of zelda ocarina of time figures sold pretty well um i don't know what, what kind of data they were receiving about these figures to cancel the line but maybe they didn't get the uh interest at the toy fair I know I would have been screaming if I was there. <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of people lament the fact that these never came out. The last little bit that I want to show you is these little tiny, tiny figures. Um, they're these little mini figures, and I'm not sure how they would have been packaged or if they were going to be, like, gash upon or something. But there's Donkey Kong. Hopefully the camera is auto focusing on these because they are so tiny so i'll hold them up for a little bit of time there's diddy kong he's holding a banana really good detail on these let's see who's next we've got tiny kong the aptly named because like she's so tiny i can't believe they are able to get the rainbow knit cap and the flower painted well on her because it's just so tiny. But you know, some people are really good at that. Uh, there's Funky. Why did they make him a playable character in Donkey Kong 64? He's a playable character later. I guess it took a long time because it was Freeze where he was playable. And there's Chunky. This is the only Chunky item I have. Checkerboard vest. That's bonkers. It's really well done. A plus on the sculpt. Then you have Lanky. He's got his patch on the back. That's look at that patch. How do you even paint like that? <laughs> that's always. That's something I've always wondered is how people are able to do that. I don't have a steady enough hand. You have to have like surgeon hands for painting like this. There's a critter, Kremlin. Another great one. And there's K. Rule. And this one is an, is great. It almost looks like the uh, the Kellogg's figure from Europe in that pose. It's such a weird, awkward pose he's in. Um. And they didn't paint the cape on him, so the detail isn't as great either. I don't know why they didn't spend as much time on him, but um, he does have the gold plate and the giant pot belly. But he, I don't know, I don't like this figure as much because the other figures are like dynamically posed and he's just like, man. But that is that. Those are the prototypes. I hope you enjoyed watching those again um, on these HD videos. I, sh I love showing them off, obviously. Um, it's great history. It's part of what I'm all about is the history of this stuff and, and merchandising and, and all that. I, I get asked all the time, why do you do it? Uh, well, this is it, man. This is, it's like the nostalgia trip. It's the, it's the history. It's the collecting. It's being part of something big in the community. And it's, it's fun to, it's fun to show and tell. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, thanks for watching the prototypes. I'll have to do 
another video, I guess, on the other prototypes I have. I've got some Mario plushes and some Mega Man stuff um, that are prototypes, but wasn't going to dig all that out today. But um, thanks for watching.